Hello everyone, um, welcome to The Complete Christian with your friend and brother Chidi. Um, it's nice to see you guys t um, today. So basically, um, over the last few weeks we've been talking about the gospel, but I thought of having a break today to talk about something different and something um, really, really important. And that is depression. So a lot of people are actually going through that and suffering from depression. Um, and it's, it's basically like um, a silent killer um, so I thought I, today I'll, I'll talk about that um, so the reason why I decided to talk about this is because a lot of churches don't talk about depression um, because we, were, we are supposed to have faith and you know be positive and everything but a lot of people are actually going through this so um, I'm going to share um, couple of things that we can look at uh, to deal with this but before we get there um, I'd like to tell uh, like a little bit a little story about myself um, a couple of years ago when my um, daughter was pregnant with our second um, daughter Tara um, I I wasn't working I left my job and I was really heavily invested in, uh, in network marketing so that was supposed to be my big break and close to when i was going to get my promotion uh, to start making the big bucks um the company changed the compensation plan and it was now hard for us to make money um so from that time onwards i went to a dark place um i i don't know uh i actually don't know how i got there but um, cause I'm, I'm usually like, I'm a positive person, but, um, I got to a, a really dark place. Um, I couldn't get up from the bed to do stuff. I couldn't look for jobs for myself. Um, like I lost interest in everything. Like I couldn't even, um, get up to eat. Like like I, I i just lost interest in everything like i was so i felt so hopeless and miserable um no it wasn't it wasn't a good feeling um even during that time my wife was like really heavily pregnant um but you know she would go to work come back and meet me at home lying down um like i felt sorry for her I felt sorry for her um so um but i couldn't help her like i couldn't even do like house chores like okay like she's gone to work um at least help her around the house and it really caused a lot of problem at home um so wife if you're watching this i'm really sorry for what i put you through um i couldn't help myself um couldn't help myself so it was really dark for me um so and by the grace of god i thank god for my wife and um i went through that you know phase and finally um got a job um but the thing the thing is that um a lot of people would see me in church uh i'll be playing the bass singing doing everything but they wouldn't know that I was going through stuff. Um, although I wasn't diagnosed to, you know, medically diagnosed to say that I, I was depressed, but I had all the symptoms, um, you know, of, of, the, of depression. Um, for me as well, something I felt, I remember feeling um, that time was, um, apart from feeling hopeless, I felt numb. I felt numb. I felt numb like I didn't have any feeling. I didn't have any feeling. I didn't have any sense of urgency. I didn't have any feel. I felt numb. That's that's the best way I can explain it. Like I don't even know how to explain it, but I just felt numb. Like I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel any emotion. I couldn't feel like come like um waking up. I couldn't feel like having fun i couldn't feel i couldn't feel anything 
especially like I said before, my wife was going through a lot. She was heavily pregnant and going to work, but I couldn't feel. I don't know. I I I felt her pain, but I was numb to do anything. I couldn't do anything. Um, so it wasn't a good um feeling. Um. When I look at um, depression, I look at it in two different ways. So one would be like chemical imbalance in your brain. So like it could be emo um, hormones and whatever. Um, but, we'll, but we don't know why those things happen. Um, but the other way I look at it is um, spiritual or emotional um, um, reasons or, 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 you know, just looking at it from that angle. So it could be, for instance, um, the people in church, um, I'm using that as an example, um, it's like, for instance, you've seen other people, you have an expectation, um, you've seen other people, um, say for instance, giving their testimonies, um, and you're feeling like, like, God, like, what did I do to you? Like, everyone's sharing their testimonies, um, except me, like, what, what did I do? And you feel like you've done everything, you've you know, fasted, you've paid your tithe, you've done everything, and nothing's going for you. Um, it could be like um, societal or cultural expectations. It could be like, okay, for instance, um, your parents expected you to do some things, like achieve some things at a certain age, I don't know, maybe get married whatever and you haven't achieved that or even like your own goals you feel like you haven't achieved um some other people it could be um um i don't know like something like bullying uh, can cause people to you know be depressed um but you know whatever it is um there's always a spiritual at aspect to it i believe um because we live in a fallen world so that's how sickness and diseases came in. Um, so these things happen. So I know some people might feel like, oh, as a Christian, you're not supposed to be blah, blah, blah. But it can happen to a Christian um, because we haven't gone to heaven yet. We're still in this world. Um, but um, um, these things can happen. Um, but there are a couple of things I'd like to point out um, if you're going through depression. Or if you know someone who's been through depression, for you to say to them, um, I I believe that depression is a lie um, of the devil. Um, depression makes you um, doubt God. You know, it makes you believe that you're not worth anything. Um, you're worthless. You can't achieve anything. You're not. You know, um, worth that life is not worth living. Um, so that is a lie from the devil. So this is my um, my advice to um, anyone who's going through depression. So number one is speak to somebody. Um, speak to somebody who you trust. So it could be your tr your best friend if you really trust your best friend. Um, it could be your pastor. Um, it could be like a, a Christian counselor. Um, speak to someone. Um, someone said that depression grows in isolation. Don't isolate yourself and not speak to anyone. Speak to someone. Maybe someone has gone through this and they can tell you how they got through it. And, you know, that could be help to you. Um, also, apart from that, speak to the medical professionals. Um, a lot of people in church... Um, believe in faith I believe in faith but I also believe that God has given the medical professionals um, wisdom to deal with certain ailments and, and diseases so if you're going through stuff um, apart from speaking to your friends to help you know release your emotions speak to a professional speak to a medical professional and they might um, be of help to you um, um, I also want to like point out to you that um you are worth something um so um the bible says that god created us created us in his image and in his likeness and because of that we have value um he said before 
I formed you in your in the mother's womb. I knew you. Um, that's speaking about prophet um I think Ezekiel or Isaiah, one of them. Um, so he he has formed you. Um, and he has a purpose for your life. So although you might be going through stuff, you have to think that in your mind that God has a purpose for my life and I am valuable. God has God has placed a value. Actually, the, the value of a product is dependent on the manufacturer. So God Himself has placed a value on your life and that you should, you know, you know, um, live your life with that consciousness. Um, another thing I want to point out is, is that there is hope for you. The Bible says that we should look up to Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Um, most of the time, people are depressed because of physical and material things that they want to achieve. Um, it's all good to achieve stuff, but if you look at it properly, the main purpose we are here on earth is to give glory to God. Um, the Bible says, fear God and keep his commandments because that's the whole duty of man. So if you live your life in that consciousness that my life here is not actually to enrich myself or like to make myself feel happy, it's good to have all these things, but my life is actually to give glory to God. That helps you to have hope. That helps you to have hope that God um, can do all things and he can see you through. The Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them from them all um so you there's hope in christ um another thing i want to say is um we you need to believe in god's promises believe in god's promises god has given us different promises in the word of god so you need to dig deep into the word of god and find out what are god's promises for your life um it's actually an insult to god if you don't um believe his promises because think about it you know, if you told your child something that oh, I'm gonna buy you something for Christmas, and he said I don't believe you, you're gonna feel bad. It's it's an insult. Especially God is the Almighty God; He can do all things, and He's uh, made promises to you that He's not gonna leave you nor forsake you. He will be closer to you than a brother. Um, you know, He's a friend that is closer to us, like a brother uh, than a brother. He will be with us till the end of age. So believe in God's promises and um, that would help you to go through, you know, whatever you're going through. Also, I like to think about the whole existence of our life um, as a really like tiny drop of the whole, you know, existence. Like we have all eternity to go. So, and whatever, so whatever I'm going through right now, just a tiny blip, tiny dot in the whole existence. So when I think about heaven, I think about, you know, um, the joy we're going to have in heaven and everything. So it helps, it helps me feel like what I'm going through right now is nothing compared to the joy that is going to come when I'll be with my Savior. Um, so that's, that's my advice. That's like my, my tips on how you can get through, you know, depression um, moments. Um, also, if you know someone who's um, going through um um, depression please um be there for them you know because it's 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 not always a good it's not a good um situation to be in be there for them the bible says that we should bear one another's burden and so fulfill the law of christ as a christ as a, as a christian we're supposed to be there for our fellow christians bear share in their in their sorrow the bible says when someone is crying when the if you mourn with those who are mourning and rejoice with those who are rejoicing when it's time to rejoice rejoice with them but when it's time to be there for them, um, you know, be there for them. Sometimes being there for someone who is going through depression doesn't always mean that you have to, I don't know, cheer them up or like be like, oh, come on, man, man up. Are you, you're supposed to be a man. Maybe that's not what they need to hear. Maybe what they need to hear is, I don't understand everything you're going through, but I'll be here for you. If you need to go to an appointment, I'll come with you. You know, it could be something like, you hey, know, thank you for telling me, but God loves you. I, you know, I believe you go through this. Um, it's like, just be there for them. Just tell them that, you know, you're actually doing well. Thank you for telling me. You know, it shows that you trust me and I, I'll, I'll be here for you. Um, but encourage them. 
encourage them, encourage them to go for their appointments. If they have any medication, encourage them to take it and pray for them and God will um, help them go through it. Yeah. So, so thank you very much. Thank you very much um, for um, listening to, to today's episode. It's a, it's a different one um, from what I, I've, I've been talking about for the couple of last couple of weeks. Um, so if you like this content, please share it and don't forget to subscribe and also tell me in the, you know, in, the, in the comment section, tell me if you've gone through any of these things before or if you know anyone who's going, gone through it and whatever, what tips that you have for people to go through, um, you know, depression and anxieties. So thank you very much for listening and God bless you.